How you kids doing? On the road again. Got to get more Buicks on the road again. And uh, we, we're going to have a new pricing model for asshole consulting. Uh, because I don't know if you knew this or not. I am an incredibly busy person. Regularly, just a regular house. If you bought a house that already existed, it's a lot just to move. It's a lot. Oh, you got to furnish it because I've never had furniture before. And, you know, certainly not enough to, to furnish the place. <clears throat> but I also I had to build my house from scratch. Not me personally, but I had to have the contractors. I don't know if you know anything about contractors. They're fucking morons and they don't do the job right. So you have to do most of the work. And then there's just regular work on top of it. If you consider what my job is work, where, you know, you podcast, asshole consulting, all this other shit. Uh, and then maybe I'd like to have some fun every once in a while. And then this also includes things like, I don't know, eating and getting exercise and maybe going for a hike. And so I don't know if somebody put Asshole Consulting's website at, at Spurg Fest 2021 or uh, <clears throat> Social Anxietiesville uh, camp or, or whatever, but I got a spate of requests where you rambled on, you did voice to text, <clears throat> all the tells were there, all the tells. You're a lazy piece of shit and you don't want to put in the effort to even properly spell out your question. And then also the nature, and oh, he's talking about me, I'm talking about a lot of motherfuckers. Don't think it's just you. It's a lot of motherfuckers. Like, it's five people where I'm like, what in the fucking hell's Christ just fucking happen. And when I when I smell laziness, when I smell like, oh, decide for me, Obi-Wan Cappy, you're my only hope. That that I, I won't lie, that has increased the prices because like you need the sting. You you have the answer is stop being a lazy fuck and do the fucking work. And there's already been this natural agitation that me, Rich Cooper, Ryan Stone I guess to a lesser extent, Rolo, but other people within the red pill community or just get, guess the truth community where where if we smell fuckery, if we smell, tell me the cheat code so I don't have to cipher me, Obi-Wan Kip, you my only hope. Yeah, then it's like, yeah, you lazy fuck, you need to have this thing because your problem isn't the ostensible problem you present. It's the fact that you're a lazy motherfucker. And you're too weak and you're too cowardly and you're too lazy to actually go and put forth the work to have any kind of success in life. This is why I get a kick. Should I go into chemical engineering or should I go into civil engineering? I don't know. They're both fine. But see, you're too fucking lazy to research either of them. So it doesn't matter what you major in. You're a lazy fuck. You're not going to have any. You're just not going to succeed. So then what, what really riles me up is you, you guys don't understand the soup. Nazi pricing, how asshole consulting works. The process, I, the way I process clients is very precise. It's very measured and it's very designed. And it's like the soup Nazi episode from Seinfeld. And if you don't know it, go watch it. So you fuck, unless you're too fucking lazy to watch a, a sitcom episode. But how the soup Nazi d makes the greatest soup ever is because if you go, if you do exactly as he says. You go in, you order, you stand to the right. He is allowed to make the soup. But I get you fucking incel spurg moronic tards coming in. And you negotiate. Why is it this much? It says the website that much. Oh, can I add another follow-up? Can I add another question? Here, I got to Oh, gee, I don't know how the PayPal works. Uh, can I use a credit card? Can I use credit card? And that just takes more and more time. Now, I've been, you know, once I quote a price, I'm like, okay, there might be a follow-up question or something. <clears throat> but no, no, not, not anymore, not anymore. No, because now I had an epiphany because of unfortunate things that have happened. What happened? Nothing, nothing. It's, it's not crisis. It's just annoying. I had time to sit and think about it, and I finally came, I came to a realization. You people out there, who send in the decide for me, what's the cheat codes, how do I get the girl set questions? The reason you have these questions, the reasons you are not succeeding in life <clears throat> has nothing to do with a mental illness, 
or oh, I have a bit, of a touch of the tism. I have, I, I have a little bit of asthma. Oh, tee hee! I, I just, uh, it's social anxiety. No, what it is, it's not even that you're lazy. You're solipsistic. I mean, it is laziness, at least the solipsism, but you're solipsistic. You don't think anyone else in the world exists. And you just, you come to this point where, well, I'm the only person here that exists. And when you operate from that erroneous premise, that means you then rely on the video game, <clears throat> the NPCs of the world to do everything for you. And when it doesn't work that way, like if you're not a hot young chick with big tits, they can be solipsistic because the world will bend to their will. They will be NPCs. But if you're a fucking nerd, you're some dopey guy who's solipsistic and think, well, I'm the only person here. The world should not operate the way I want. Well, how come it's not working that way? Then you very easily, well, I, I must have a mental disorder. I must have, no. No, you're so fucking lazy, you don't even think that other people exist and they have time, finite time. And you think nothing of wasting their time because you don't think they exist. You're solipsistic. And I was wondering why I was getting so pissed off and part of it, it was the laziness and part of it, it was the hypocrisy. But now it's the solipsism. You actually think you're the only person around. And to fucking... Drag people down, not fall. Oh my God, not following the insurance. It's, it's the whole, the whole uh, panoply of all the tells. You don't use paragraphs. You do voice to text. You don't organize your thoughts. You barf up your questions. Then you, then you try to hit negotiate, ignoring the way that, like, the way the prices are that low is because you have to do exactly as I say in the, and the instructions are hard. Hey, did you get my money? I don't know. Did you tell me you did? I'll go check. Oh, no, I didn't. Did you want an email or a video as well? Oh, I don't know. When are you going to get to it? And she, I wonder, and he said, hey, you know, a minute goes by. Hey, hey, what can I expect my video? Ah, uh, fucking at the end of line. And it's all because you're a bunch of self-centered little pricks. You're all a bunch of solipsists. You're so fucking lazy and so fucking arrogant. You think the world is going to revolve around you and that you could go ahead and, hey, what's this happen? What's happen? Can I change it? Can I change it? Nope. Not today. No more, motherfuckers. Because <clears throat> guess what's happened, you solipsistic assholes? There's a new pricing model over at Asshole Consulting. It's called the Solipsistic Incel Spurg Moron Loser Pricing System. And if I smell the slightest whiff of solipsistic fuckery, if I get the slightest hint you're a lazy motherfucker, you are going to pay $100 minimum. And I've, I've already kind of done that where it, and, and this is an easy one. That one I easily picked out. Like there's this one guy, I'm 26, I live at home with my mom. What should I do with my life? Ah, uh, that's $100. Sure enough, pre totally pre says on the website that an email's thirty five. A hey, fucker, you ain't paying rent. You need it to sting. Your problem isn't oh, what do I do in my life. Your problem is you need someone to kick you in the ass. And all you solipsistic motherfuckers, all you people who think you're the only real person in this world, you're paying. You're paying at minimum a hundred fucking dollars. And every time you have a follow-up email, I never fucking ask for, hey, I, I got, I got, can I add some? Yeah, another hundred dollars, asshole. So that's the new pricing model for asshole consulting. Really, really special. Solipsistic, insult, spurg, moron, loser, perma-virgin pricing. All right? That, and you know what? You know what? <clears throat> then Cappy's going to have some free time. Then I can go and actually enjoy the fucking Black Hills. I can ride my motherfucking motorcycle because I'm not dealing with you fuckers anymore unless you pay me a shit ton of fucking money. Now, for those of you that have legitimate questions, obvious, I think most of you who, who do have your heads out of your ass, you got a question, your dad didn't raise your right, you got it, really don't know. Cool, I can smell that. But I'm done with you solipsistic, lazy fucking... Assholes. Mm -mm, nope. Hundred dollars minimum. And if you follow up, oh, can I add some else? Yeah, sure can. Hundred dollars a shot, motherfucker. And what's great? What's great is it's worth every penny to pay me that. Because until you get your 
fucking solipsistic, lazy motherfucking, insult spurg tart heads out of your fucking ass, you're never going to succeed in life. So there you go. AshleConsulting.com. See ya.